People ask, where do you get your ideas? Well, right here. All of this is my Martian landscape. Somewhere in this room is an African veldt. Just beyond, perhaps, is a small Illinois town where I grew up. And I'm surrounded on every side by my magician's toy shop. I'll never starve here. I just look around, find what I need, and begin. I'm Ray Bradbury, and this is... Well then, right now, what shall it be? Out of all this, what do I choose to make a story? I never know where the next one will take me. And the trip? Exactly one half exhilaration, exactly one half terror. I know. If you know, why are you killing me? Please, look. <laughs> See? Is that my wife? Is she? Alive. Or isn't she? She's alive, yes. If she's alive, she wasn't murdered, so you can't execute me. Do you understand? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> it's time. Time? He... You don't understand. I understand too much. No. You said yourself, I've done nothing. She's alive! Killing me for a murder I didn't do. Who's responsible? You are. What did I do? Surely you remember? George Hill, age 59, employment, Hill Investments Limited, current net worth £4,500 married, wife's name Catherine, no children. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> now you know. Well, come on, get on with it. Murder, Mr Hill? Good Lord, no. Then good day, Mr. Hill. Hold on. Sir, why did you come here? Well, yes. I, uh, I heard that you could help me to get rid of... Uh... Your wife? And isn't that murder, Mr. Hill? Not the way you people do it. Uh, there's a subtle difference.
Yes. 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 I'm only killing a machine. A machine, yes. But a machine that thinks and feels and bleeds and dies. Even as we speak, there are those that argue that we... The facsimiles should be given a human's rights. And if so, how is this different from murder, Mr. Hill? Do we help you eliminate an unfortunate complication in your life, or do we simply kill you? I'm waiting. You kill. Speak up. You murder. Good. The client must always understand that in his heart and in his mind there is bloody murder. Sign here. I am only killing a machine, yes? Yes. Did you bring a rag, a lock of hair, a bone? What? Oh! <laughs> oh, yes. I've got a disc of her voice, a lock of hair, cosmetics, perfume, dental charts and medical records. Did your wife do to you, Mr. Hill? Hill, 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 Hill. she be ready. Your facsimile spouse? Two weeks. Is that too long to wait for... Murder. I'll go mad. Sleep, then.
They'll put you under for 14 days, and then they'll wake you up. It'll feel like five minutes. Sleep. Catherine. Catherine. Kathy, you've come back. Yes. And no. No more dreams. Now it's time to do. To do what? Surely you remember. Remember? I've changed my mind. What? Kathy, Catherine, come back with me. Thou art fair, my love. What? Behold, behold, thou art fair. Thou hast dove's eyes within thy locks, and thy lips are like a thread of scarlet. Thy speech is comely, and there is no spot in thee. Honey and milk are under thy tongue, and the smell of thy garments is like the smell of the cedars of Lebanon. No, no. You... You've never been so beautiful. I am your wife without the flaws. No real woman could compete. Have you forgotten why you came? Why you came? Forgotten. Your right hand pocket. Let me see. No. Let me see. Catherine, come with me. Where? Anywhere. Impossible. No, I... I forgive you. It was just some, some silly, little... You don't understand. No one is allowed to leave here. You, yes, you buy the dream. But the dream that's built must stay until it's used. Used? I only want to protect you. My function is not to be protected, but to die. Dear George, remember, you hate me. Hate you? No. Catherine, yes, but you as Catherine, no. It's not too late. It was too late two weeks ago. And all the while you slept. And every second of the last eight minutes. If I paid some more money to these people here, perhaps they would 
Let me keep you. When we rent, they do not sell. And if you leave now without killing me, I will melt my flesh, file my bones, and redistribute my securities within the Isle. Pick up the gun. I'm going to see my young and beautiful Leonard tonight. You're not Catherine, so how can you see him? What if they facsimilated him and brought him here? To eat the food and drink the wine and give me love. They wouldn't do that. And what if he kissed and touched? Kissed and moved to take me? He would not. And if we drank the wine? And then held close. And I saw his eyes and mouth and said, His head is as the most fine gold. Hey, you won't, won't come here. His locks are as black as a raven. He doesn't exist. His cheeks are a bed. No. Cassie might have said that. But not you. His legs are as pillars of mine. No! George William Hill, you are under arrest. Arrest? For... murder. his defense. These are peculiar times. The pressures of city life have made it practical for you to I hide don't deserve in your you. and debate an old fool like me. With only the prosecution, I don't deserve the defense, the defendant like me. and myself present. The prosecution posed the question are there too many robots in the world? Have they become too human? Are they in fact embodying all of our qualities, light and dark? If they are, then new laws must be and have been passed. If not, our old laws yes. will not sustain us in this strange I've and changed my mind. Time. But it's the prosecution not too late. Say, 
if killing a man it's too late or two weeks ago is not the facsimile no, destruction of a robot image of a man or a woman similar bloody death the defense on the other hand point to the corpus delicti and say what never lived cannot die and george hill it's not george too late george hill has been caught in the crack it's too late two weeks between. ago two years from now it will be a joke he said but now a scapegoat's needed the law says kill him we say nay we beg your mercy this man but killed a nightmare in his head shall he suffer punishment for a deranged instant in which he but killed a lifeless energized machine that would be madness beyond his madness but the prosecution and the law says one man and only one must pay for the excesses execute him ladies and gentlemen of the jury how say you Guilty. 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 It's already ended. I killed you. No. Well, right now, I wish it were. No. Kate. Kate. Catherine. It is you. Go and tell them. You're alive. You're here. There's no need to kill me now. I've told them. Tell them again, for God's sake. They won't listen. Take is so fair. Where are you going? Where? With him. time. 